Well, the Oregon Ducks did not need overtime to beat BYU this time around. Welcome in. I'm Prim Saripapa alongside college basketball reporter Eamon Brennan. So Oregon beats BYU twice this season, but midway through the second half, this was a three-point game. So, Eamon, what did the Ducks do late in the game to really start pulling away? I mean, it's, it's simple. They started hitting shots. That's what Oregon's done this season when they've been really good is they've made a bunch of shots. They're very potent on the offensive end. They struggled for a long time during this season. They were 3-8 and eight midway through Pac-12 play. They looked like they were headed to the NIT, but they really got it going late, recaptured some of the form early in the season when they started 13-0 and, and looked like one of the better teams in the country and a real challenge for Arizona in the Pac-12. And when they are playing well, they're playing well on the offensive end. They're getting up and down the floor. Joseph Young is hitting shots. They're crashing the glass and driving lanes, and they're very, very difficult to guard. Well, I'm curious how this is going to match up against. They've got a very tough opponent next round, the number two seed in the Wisconsin Badgers. What's key for them when they go up against them? I think it's the style of play. Mm -hmm. I think Oregon, like we said, loves to get up and down the floor, loves to run, loves to take quick shots, have possessions end quickly. Wisconsin, as we know and as they're famous for, likes to slow the game down. Uh, their offensive possessions are methodical. They make you guard four or five or six passes and cuts. Uh, they make life very, very difficult for you. So I think if Wisconsin controls the possession, controls the you know uh, how long each possession lasts uh, from a strict statistical you know time standpoint, it's going to be really hard for Oregon to win the game because they are not a half court offensive or half court defensive team, especially that's going to be able to guard Wisconsin for. 25, 30 second possession. So if Oregon can get the ball out and run, if they can get long rebounds and get going, they've got a chance. But in that half court, slow, methodical game that Wisconsin plays, it's very difficult for me to see them. Should be a good game nonetheless. Absolutely. For Eamon Brennan, I'm Prim Saripa Pack. Keep it logged on to ESPN.com for all your March Madness needs.